Oh baby, we are doing a guys day night out vlog. We're gonna watch Dune and the new Halloween Kills movie. Uh, maybe throw some reviews out about that, but I am hauling some booty uh, to the friend Cody's apartment place. I've never been there, so he is hot in the GPS and I am hot on this guy's tail, hoping he moves forward at a faster pace than five miles under the speed limit, but it doesn't look like it and he's riding down the road with his blinker on. That's cool because I don't know when he's going to slam on his brakes and try to turn left. So maybe I shouldn't ride his butt. But we're going to do this kind of vlog style because I haven't done a vlog and I, I like the vlogs because those are memories for me to go back and look at years into the future. I know a lot of people don't watch them anymore and they're not very popular, but for me, it's just about going back and looking at that sweet, beautiful, young looking face five years from now or 10 or whatever uh, and it being there. So, you know, gotta go, they're calling. Jesus, when you're trying to get somewhere quick, the world just wants to throw those things in front of your face and go, not today. All right, we're here. Where the heck is he? Second right. Right here. Looking for some trucks. One new Nissan Frontier and the Dodge Ram. Jesus. Where am I? Aha! Uh -huh. No. Not yet. Oh, me. It's confusing. It's really not confusing. Hey, we're back where we started. Should have zigged. Should turn left. Obviously. Let's do this again. Redo! There we go. Seven. Boom. Then we're going to turn left, obviously, somewhere down here. This is so easy. Ooh. Did I pass it? Uh, not yet. Right there. Yeah, left back there. Do this little ditty right here. Well, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, wow. Well, hello. <laughs> here we are, guys. Like that the pace of Dune was like, I was totally fine with it. Like a lot of people have ragged it out for being like it's slow, it's but I like it. You like Dune? Sam? I thought it was incredible. If you like doing Cody, it was awesome. Yeah, I thought it was great too, but it's something that you got to ex experience doing visually in a theater. Don't do it sitting at home with crumbs on your chest. Yes. yes. You got to go to the theater and support it so that they'll actually push a theatrical release for part two because the rumor mill is they're waiting to see how it does on HBO Max to see if it warrants an avenue of that path or something like they're really watching it close between streaming and theater get your stupid ass up yes get it out of the way love wow. the film the pacing was beautiful it was like an art it was really like an art it was piece like Blade Runner 2049 it was yeah, yeah conveniently was say, yeah it was a very but i love that film 
yeah. I can watch it once a year. Like, that's like my limit, you know. It's not yeah. something I can go, you know, every couple months or whatever and just not want to watch it. But you think about it for a while, but then you watch it like a year, once a year. It's not one year, like, you it, you have to sit down and like, yeah, you have to enjoy commit. it. It's a <laughs> yeah. big, it's a big you, deal. You gotta sit down and enjoy it and actually yeah. watch it and pay attention to it. You can't just have it on like, you know, background noise like it's a fucking Fast and Furious movie. Yeah, it's like whenever I have to commit to watching the Blade series trilogy. <laughs> just kidding. When I have to watch <laughs> Wesley Snipes Blade, I have to commit and do it. Yeah, especially the third one, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, you have to yeah. try really hard. <laughs> I don't know, like I can spin it around, I guess, for my view. Isn't there a GoPro one? No. Huh? Doesn't GoPro have a 360 now? They do, but it's like, uh, it was very expensive when it first came out. And I think they had to do a lot of software upgrades and stuff to it to make it competitive. Yeah. <clears throat> GoPro, you know, people give them a lot of flag. Because they were the, yeah. It's a beautiful face. No. The uh. Is that replacing? It needs to, because God knows it'd be more efficient. Puts around, stab somebody in the eye. Oops. <laughs> you complain to it, and it just goes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and just put your eyes out. <laughs> Do you enjoy it you go, let me speak to a manager, and he goes, okay. And he just goes, no. he goes, I'm goes, the manager. Yeah. <laughs> I okay. am the manager. Yeah. No, I want to talk to a human manager. I am the manager. <laughs> the little claw arm takes and flips around and turns into like a little bit transformer what hand. Drink, uh, I'll have a uh, Diet Coke. Diet Coke? Yeah. Beer. Yeah. Uh, do y'all have monkey knot or? I do. Oh, yeah, 20 good. or 24 ounce. 24. 24? The biggest. What's the strongest beer over there? The it's monkey knot? Elysian knife? Space Dust. Oh, God. Does it taste strong? Yeah. Like stronger than the monkey knot? Yes. Ooh. Be hard to drink. I'll take the biggest one of that and a, <laughs> and a Tylenol or something. You guys got your IDs on you. Yeah. <laughs> Show his teeth. Yeah. What did you think about Halloween Kids? Oh, uh, oh bump, Jesus sorry, Christ. Christ. Damn, my bad, fellas. Is that like a curve? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it was it's a soap. Huh. Uh, I hated it the first time, and then I've grown to really appreciate it the second wow. one. Second and third. Uh, I think it hits a lot of uh, uh, the underlining themes and tones that Carpenter was initially going for. Um, it's not perfect. Obviously, it's a little rocky in some places, but I, I think I appreciate what they're trying to do with it. It's better than any of the other sequels besides the 2018, and it's interesting where they're going with potentially maybe explaining why Michael is. The way yeah, he is. That, that part's the tricky. Yeah, curious they, if they, part. That it's an, it is an interesting uh, idea that they're. It, it is an interesting uh, premise. It's just whether or not they're gonna follow through with an interesting answer in the third one. Yeah, because it seems like that's exactly the direction you're going to, is explaining Michael. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, but I, I think it's good. I mean, I, I get why some people don't like it, but I, I thought it was good. What do you think, Mr. Cody? I liked it. Uh, I'm going to have to watch it again to really, really like it. Uh, there were some technical things because I'm a technical person that I didn't care for, but for the most part, I did like it, and uh, I want to see the direction in which they're going to take it. And, uh, if they are going to finish the story and see where they go with that. 
Well, they're gonna finish it. <laughs> Look <her> jackass. <laughs> I liked it. It was good. It was a good bridge to prepare you, I think, for what they're going to do in the Halloween. What is it? Halloween. What's the next ends. one? Halloween ends. Halloween ends. Which is set four years actual current time when it releases. Hopefully. So Hopefully. I really enjoyed the the bridge That's a from from one to the day. That's a bridge. So to finish out this action-packed vlog of events, we've watched Dune and we've watched a new Halloween and it was eventive. We had a good time, watched two great movies, one on two different levels, but slow paced, you know, and they were great films. What a fantastic evening of movies. Make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that thumbs so you get notified on the next outing that I have in vlog form.